Hey guys, welcome to Mayfield Family Farm. Just want to give you an update on the rabbit dome garden that we had started last year. Um, some of the plants were really slow growing, some of them didn't make it, so we had to replant some of our uh, different plants. So I'm going to walk you through and show you what has been growing and then what we just planted today. So here's the rabbit dome. Uh, we have five comfrey plants, which is here. Um, the reason that one here is bigger than that little one, and then this one here is as well as very large, is because that one we bought is a three to four year old plant. And what that means is it's sent to you as a root stock um, with basically anything above ground cut off. And then you plant it, and within a couple weeks it starts growing leaves. These ones down here were the one to two year old plants, and they're the same thing but just a lot smaller, so they take a little bit longer to grow. And so we have three of the big three to four year plants. There's our other one over there, and then. Um, this one here and that one there are the smaller ones. <coughs> then in between, we planted uh, 10 Malabar spinaches, which uh, there's one down there. And basically where each of these sticks are. And the reason for the sticks is because we want the Malabar spinach to grow over and around the dome, but we don't want the rabbits to eat it as it begins to poke through. So the sticks will allow us to help it climb the stick which is taller than the rabbits can reach. And then at that point, it'll begin growing on the rabbit cage. And we also have a couple jasmines there and there. They're uh, basically a salsa Asian version. Just they look really pretty of all the different colors. That's why they're called salsa. And those are just really for looks, just to add a, bit, a lot of color to the dome as it's growing. Uh, they don't get very wide, but they do get very tall and long. So that'll help with uh, it looking good. And then uh, there's a couple of natural vines like this one here and throughout there's a lot of uh, just vines that were grown here native that we're going to let grow again just because it will add to the diversity of uh, flowers and pollinators um, to our yard, to our farm, as well as hopefully look pretty and if we don't like them we can always cut them down and remove them. So right now we just have Right now we just have a soaker hose that I just do manually um, every day for about 10 minutes. Um, this will be going on a timer eventually. And then uh, we upgraded the water system here. And right now the hoses just all connect back there to water the uh, to water the quail and to water the rabbits. But like I said, we will be doing underground watering here soon, uh, running some piping with some timers and emitters. And uh, we'll leave this on the soaker hose until it uh, rots if the sun ends up baking it. We keep it covered under the hay so it won't rot But if that does happen, we'll run half-inch poly tube through here with drippers and uh, flag emitters to water the garden So again guys, thank you for checking out our videos and our Facebook page our website and all the different uh, social media We have out there continue to support us and uh, we look forward to sending you out another video more information soon And also here are the kids they wanted to say hi Hello. What are you guys doing? Jumping. Playing animals. Yeah. Let's go, guys. Bye bye. That's the queen bee. She means business when she's standing up there with her elbows on her hips. There's little chicks. There's the ducks. And there's a good old lovely goats. <laughs> 